greatest city on planet Earth. It's the Fort Lauderdale at Night Show with your host, Joe Morrow. Tonight, join Joe and his guests. Ex-New York Giant football great, Leonard Marshall. Over the edge fashion designer, Jimmy Starr. And the Fort Lauderdale at Night Show Band, the Gary King Band. Oh, Gary King. Give it up for Gary King. Gary, you got it going on tonight, buddy. Thanks, Joe. I mean, what'd you bring special tonight? I, I, I was going to bring some, but all these reptiles are in the house, so, you know. I you think you were some serious cool. funk with you, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, you've you been complaining, man. People have been calling me saying, man, why does Joe keep making you play that same song again? Oh, man? no, no, no. I'm like, no, it ain't Joe, man. Joe want to hear some Snoop Dogg. Uh, I thought I was here. One, two. But I guess you didn't, you didn't want to go that route. Right, oh, we can go there. Watch this. Yeah, watch this. One, two, three, four. Got it. There you go. Yeah, we know you got it. Well, our next guest, Jimmy Starr. This guy is uh, become the, the fashion mogul of the uh, of the industry now. Let's welcome him to Fort Lauderdale tonight, Jimmy Starr. Give it up for Gary King one more time. Way to go, Gary. That was great, guys. So, now, I, I, I see you, uh, man, you, you got it going on. I mean, you, you look at the outfit. I'm wearing a, a stupid old sport coat. We can, I, I need, I need we some can, help here. I need up. some help, man. We can hook you up. We sell the most outrageous clothes that you will ever see, and we specialize in people in the entertainment industry, so you fit right in. I mean, I, I'm, ready, I'm ready to go. We, we can hook you up. No problem. I just got to get you over there. Now, how'd you get started in this business? Um, I actually got started in the flea market, believe it oh, or not. Not over at, uh, like, on Sunrise, at, on Sunrise at the Swap Boulevard. Shop. I sold stuff in the swap shop for a long time, and then I opened up a little store. And then I decided I wanted to make really wild clothes because you can never find wild clothes for guys. And so I want to clothe like your Steven Tyler's of Aerosmith and all the wild stuff that you never right. know where those guys find that stuff. I wanted to make that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I see what you got going. I mean, it's incredible, uh, incredibly wild clothing. Um, but, you know, like you take a guy like me, I mean, should I be wearing something like that? Would I look right in that type of clothing? It depends on where you're going and what you're doing. You know, you're an entertainer, and everywhere you go, you need to look fabulous. <laughs> and, I mean, this is okay, but this is, this is a little bit that is subdued. A little stuffy. It's, it's a little stuffy. I saw your wife. She's hot. I'm sure you yeah. looked really dressed up and cool when you met her. And uh, <laughs> I thought that we could hook you up. That was back in the day. You know, a lot of times gone by, I said, <laughs> you know, who shops at your place? We have every... Pretty much every entertainer who comes to South Florida shops with us. We've done stuff with Nelly, Pink, Backstreet Boys, David Arquette, um, Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessional shops with us. Um, all the local bands that are that are good and, and up and coming shop with us. I need like only like the cool people, Lenny Kravitz, you know, anybody, porn stars. We do Ron Jeremy, and we have um, another guy named Brian. Actually, Brian Thomas, who's the the first midget porn star. <laughs> um, so we specially make clothes for him. Um, we clothe all the Bon Jovi Records artists uh, like Ozzy and, and Mind Like Water and Deep Side. They're on 99 Jams and Y100 and all those kind of stations. And we clothe all those artists in really just wild stuff. What's the most subdued outfit you have? Like for someone, let, let's say, you know, I, you know, I, I want to you know, be on, I want to look kind of hip, but I can't go quite out there. You know, how, what would you do? I would bring you into our, our showrooms, and we have lots of different people, me included, uh, with my staff, that we would just hook you up with like clothes that, that work for you. Uh, we never sell anything to anybody if it doesn't look good. You know, we're not into like just selling clothes. We're right. into like putting you in things that are going to make you look really good. Now, now, Jimmy, you brought some people with you. Um, let's talk a little about. Let's bring them out, see what they're wearing. Let's talk a little bit about what they're doing. Let's go. Our first model is Samantha. Oh my god. Oh, let's give it up for Samantha here. Yeah. Samantha, don't rush to sit down. Twirl around a little bit more. <laughs> Walk around the table. Now <laughs> we're talking. Stay, 
standing. Stay standing. There you go. Then we'll tell them about what she's got on. You got, you've got to take advantage of your 15 seconds of fame here. Doesn't she look great? She looks fantastic. Oh. So this is Sam, and she's wearing all Jimmy Star original one-of-a-kind pieces. These are jeans that are uh, actually um, cut and sliced with a bunch of different fabrics with chains, all put together by hand. How long does it take to put together something like that she's wearing? This takes about 30 hours to make a pair of jeans like this. So you would sit there yourself? Do you have... Um, uh, I have a staff of people who do it. I come up with the ideas and then they carry them out. Um, and the bustier, it's a purple vinyl bustier. Helps, you know, bring the boobs together and make you look totally hot. She would look totally hot even, uh, you know, no matter how we put her together. So and it wouldn't really make much of a difference there. And she's what do you got, think, Gary? She, hey, man. You know... And she's got cool shoes on, which I don't actually make the shoes, but at the World of Jimmy Star, which is where our showrooms are, we sell all of this stuff. Now, how easy it is to get in those pants without, like, getting things stuck all over you? It's easy. Just like any other pair? Yeah, especially if you don't wear panties. <laughs> <laughs> so it works perfect. Let's just get her embarrassed. Now, what was that, your slogan? Our slogan is, getting you laid since 1998. So, uh, That's when we went into business. No problem, uh... She will have absolutely no problem. I'm sure there's lots of takers in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, the audience, please give her a round of applause. Now, Jimmy, who else do we have on? We have a male model named Topa. He's coming in. Now, Atopa looked great, too. Uh, you know, we, we, we gave uh, you know, Sam so much credit, but Atopa, you looked great up there, too. That's right, Atopa. There you go. Atopa is actually a Wilhelmina model from Nigeria. He's also a shoe designer. He's wearing his shoes that are available at the World of and Jimmy Star. And I was Star. about them. And uh, he's wearing a pair of Jimmy Star one-of-a-kind jeans, leather patchwork fur jeans, and a leather sleeveless vest. And, and he will have no problem getting laid either. Absolutely <laughs> not. So. Same 30 hours to make those jeans? Um, yes, about the same 30 hours to make the jeans and only a couple hours for the top. Uh, now, again, you said you have a, a crew that actually makes it for you. You think it through. How, how do you, what do you just wake up one night in the middle of the night, you, you know, having a sleepless night, you say, wow, here's what I'd like to do, or uh, how do you come up with the idea? I wake up every hour of the day. I walk around with a pad everywhere I go. I write little ideas down. I speak into like a little microphone pen, whatever I need to do to come up with the idea. And then I go back to my showrooms um, where I have a design room and I, I draw, kind of like draw out the ideas and then I give it to the ladies and we do it. Tell me, I know you've been doing some, uh, some movie, not movie roles, but you've been putting some, yeah. some of your clothing in movies. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we did a bunch of the clothing for Fast and Furious 2 with Paul Walker and Ludacris and Tyrese. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, he wasn't wearing much clothing. He was just wearing like a pair yeah, of jeans, he wasn't and, a a pair of jeans and a you know, ripped up t-shirt. Um, that, that didn't require any talent to do that. Yeah, it didn't require any talent. And he talent. looks pretty good anyway, so um, it's not kind of hard to dress him up. Everything that we sell in our store is either really outrageous or really just different, something that people wouldn't have other places. So they just found a lot of clothes for like the extras and for uh, just a whole bunch of the people that were actually in the whole thing. Right. Um, and so we put our clothes in there. Um, everybody was really cool. We had a good time. Uh, we actually got in as a fluke at the end of the whole deal because they had already started. They were almost done filming and they needed more stuff. And they had heard about us. And so then they came to us and bought a whole bunch of stuff for the movie. How do we find your store? Um, our store is in Pompano. It's off of I-95 in Atlantic. It's called the World of Jimmy Star. You can go to our website, worldofjimmystar.com. Um, and when you go there, it'll give you all the directions and information. I also have an online magazine called Beyond Elite, um, which is sex, fashion, politics, and entertainment. Um, politics and entertainment. We've got it all to going on. It's got clothes from Fast and Furious 2. We have a sexologist who has a column on the, uh, in the magazine. Like, you wouldn't be dressing like New Gingrich or nothing, though. That's no, way, I wouldn't. That's way too far to the right for no, us to be dressing. No, it's way too far, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. So you got it, folks. Uh, Jimmy Starr. Pompano, and I, uh, Pompano, Atlantic, and I-95. You got a phone number? 954-785-6066. Uh, All right, folks, let's thank him for coming on Fort Lauderdale at night. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Thank you. Gary King, take it away.